huge welcome from Beaches, a family-friendly resort in the Turks and Caicos Islands. We're at the Aqua Centre. We did our orientation yesterday and we're all set to dive today. The diving equipment is included in the resort fee, so you don't have to worry about a thing. Just let the guys help you get the kit that you need. And we're and getting very excited, excited in to be part of Caicos. Scuba for families, yay! And we're going to have two dives today at Northwest Point. Do you want to come and have a look on the map? These are all the dive spots that beaches give people the opportunity to go to in Turks and Caicos. And now we're going to go to one of these Dive sites here on Northwest Point. We're in paradise, tropical white sand, warm water diving. What more can you want? 30 divers per boat. I'm not going to lie, it's a tight squeeze, but more than manageable. See you guys later. We're doing this fantastic dive. Let's hope we see some turtles and some sharks. Scuba for Families recommends all-inclusive diving holidays for children as they get to increase their experience and relax in the water. So Beaches offers two boat dives daily. Um, we're off to the Chimney dive site here on Provo. It's a wall dive, it drops off to 200 feet 60 meters and if you're lucky enough you get to see beautiful grey reef sharks like we did. I absolutely loved seeing that shark. It was my first reef shark that we saw in Turks and Caicos. Honestly, Turks and Caicos is such a kid-friendly place to dive. I would definitely go back. How cool is this? Here's Lyndon, one of the dive guides. He could actually make amazing air bubble rings, which the fish, I think Brent grunts here, swim through. We tried, but it didn't quite work out. As we were ascending, we saw another reef shark. We were so lucky because it's so rare to actually see reef sharks on the surface. So we had to give each other a high five. The corals we saw were yellow tube sponges and purple branching Gorgonian corals, they're everywhere. Yes, yeah, so we did a lot of diving in Grace Bay and the Pinnacles was my favourite dive site. Beautiful, stunning purple fanning corals and schools of blue chromis, Atlantic spade fish, porcupine fish, stunning feather worms. Really amazing. So during our dive, we saw another grey reef shark, which was really, really awesome because I love sharks. They're so beautiful and graceful and not scary in any way. And it was making this really cool a figure of A at the bottom of the drop-off. Turks and Caicos is a fabulous place to go diving. The visibility there is outstanding. It's up to 30 metres. I love diving in warm water because it just makes me feel a lot safer and a lot more secure. Right, so I'm swimming and suddenly I spot an octopus. Look at that, it's so camouflaged between all these rocks. 
And how stunning is this? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Another spectacular thing we saw was a turtle. It's so elegant the way it moves. This magnificent spiny lobster wanted to go out for a walk while we were there. We're just lucky to be in the right spot at the right time. I've never seen a lobster in action before because they normally always are in action during the night time. So this was really a cool experience for me. We're even bawling on the water with the air bubbles trying to knock the rocks over. Have you ever come across a nurse shark just resting motionless on the bottom? This one was between a verge on the sandy bed. Here I am having fun on the five metre safety bar. Safety stop entertainment over there, Jasmine. I loved watching them make airings underwater, it was very fascinating. So this is my sister's first night dive, she was a little nervous so she held my hand all the way through but boy was it a great dive, we saw an eagle ray here on the bottom just gracefully swimming away, we, we saw Billy the turtle, um, Billy was asleep and uh, we did disturb it with our torches but it was so graceful and beautiful to watch. At beaches night dives are extra but it's well worth paying that extra to go, go on one. Got a normal spider crab here and then lionfish come out and eat their prey at night so it's beautiful to watch and then of course the spiny lobsters come out on the march. I think Louise really enjoyed her night dive and would certainly do it again. The girls are going to do it next time. Scoop of family loves Turks and Caicos. Thanks to my entire family for making our dream come true. And thanks for the dive team at Beaches, Turks and Caicos. Scoop of family rocks!